All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, good morning. Good evening. Depending on where you're joining us from, from in the world today. Um, look, I'm going to go through today um, a topic that we that I'm very passionate about, which is cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So, um, look, we uh, obviously, as you can see from the slide, it's called decrypting crypto, breaking out of the dead driven financial matrix. So, before I get started, I do have a disclaimer to go through, and that is number one: we are not financial advisors and not not providing financial advice. All strategies are general and not necessarily tailored to your individual situations. Always do your own research. If you are unsure about this space, consult your financial advisor. Um, crypto does have many risks and you can lose your money. If you are looking at investing in altcoins, um, always be careful because they can, lose, um, they can lose value very, very fast. So for today's session, what I'm going to do is just introduce to yourself about, a little bit about me and our company, Breakout Solutions. Um, also looking at why now is an important time for change. I'm also going to go through you know, why digital assets and why people need to be paying attention to digital assets. Um, the secrets of creating wealth. Um, and just introduce you guys to one of the clubs that we have, the 1K Day Club. It will be just an invitation for anybody who is interested. Um, there will be just a link to just come to one of our detailed sessions. Obviously, in 30 minutes is only so much I can cover about crypto. It's such a massive, massive topic. Um, and then there'll be a QA and a for whoever has any questions. So let's get started. Your presenter, so that's me, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Wasim Debussy. I've been an entrepreneur since 2003, uh, and I've had multiple businesses. My first ever business was in promotional products. And I got into that because at the time I wanted to get into sales, but unfortunately no one gave me a job because I didn't have much sales experience. So I started my own uh, business and turned that into a marketing consultant business was was running that throughout the global financial crisis then that went obviously after the global financial crisis we faced some challenges um, and I've done a few things since then I've owned the cafes I've owned an e-commerce store and the last business that I had was a um, a gym so my the gym that I had was the last business I had pre the COVID the COVID pandemic. Now you can imagine owning a gym during during a pandemic is not um, is not such a great idea. And uh, when the lockdowns happened, my business started to go downhill. I started getting um, obviously an increase in debt, um, losing a lot of members, and I had to make a difficult difficult decision as to do I want to you know continue going uphill with this once you know the pandemic is finished, or do I want to look for other options? So I made the difficult decision to shut my business down sell all my, um, all my um, business assets and, and try and get out of debt. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, when you sell just your business assets and you have other, as, um, other mortgages and stuff like that, it's not enough, especially when you lose your income. So I had to sell all of my assets. I sold my family home, my investment properties just to get restarted. So that led me to being open to new opportunities. And that's how I came across Michael, who's my business partner now, and the digital asset space. So um, just on that, to let you know a little, bit about, a little bit about our business. So we're on a mission, and our mission is to build a community that helps families wanting to get ahead financially to harness the power of digital assets to create a brighter future and secure generational wealth. Um, our big, hairy, audacious goal is to help 1 million people unplug from the financial matrix and achieve financial independence by 2032. It's a massive, massive goal, and um, it's our 10-year vision. We believe we can achieve it through the help of our community. This is why we're building such a great community. This Tom Bilou sums up exactly how we feel about digital assets and cryptocurrencies. As you can see there, um, I met Tom actually just before the pandemic here. So I think it was um, January 2020, just before the pandemic here, he was out here. So that's me with Tom. And what he said recently was, I feel a moral obligation to get people to pay attention to what's happening in the crypto and blockchain space. I mean that literally. Wall Street, you know what I'm saying. This is a pivotal moment in history, and it is. We are right now right in the middle or the starting of a major, major uh, uh, financial revolution. And you know when, financial, when any revolution happens, major, major changes that, have to, that come out at the end of it. So what we want to look at is the financial reality of modern-day families. So 
What we can see is 63%, the data's coming in that about 63% of American households are living paycheck to paycheck, which is up from about 48% prior to the pandemic. And the Australian numbers aren't any better. Over 50% of Australians are living paycheck to paycheck. 26% of people feel that they do not have a stable income. Think about the pandemic and how many people may have taken a reduction in their pay or you know, taken less hours just to keep a job. Two-thirds of people have no emergency savings. So what that means, if faced with a $500 emergency, most people cannot even afford to pay it. Think about what happened the past few weeks with all the rains and the floods. A lot of people out there don't even have enough money to pay the insurance excess to get the damages get, um, to get the damages fixed. Twenty two percent of people are living beyond their means, and that's something we see because of the consumerism lifestyle that we are conditioned to live. Buy now, pay later. People keep buying now, paying later, and that increases their debt. 18% of people who are making over $100,000 a year are also living paycheck to paycheck. So it's not just a matter of trying to get more and more income and increasing our income. We need some radical changes. The biggest problem is the cost, is the rise of the cost of living. Now, this slide is a few days old with inflation now being over 7.9, what is being reported. And that actually means that there is a devaluation of our purchasing, uh, purchasing power. Our dollar, or the US dollar in this instance, is losing 14% per annum in its purchasing power. That means if you've got a $10,000 um, if you've got a ten thousand, uh, if you got ten thousand dollars right now, a year from now, that ten thousand dollars will only be worth eight thousand six hundred dollars in purchasing power. And forty-two percent of people have accumulated over ten thousand dollars in debt since the pandemic. Now think about this: the dollar is going down. You're getting charged interest. There is inflation, so everything is going against families to be able to get out of that debt. In fact, this image sums it all up. In 2020, the banks collected $12.4 billion in overdraft fees. That means the banks took over $12 billion from people who had no money during the global pandemic. Now, this to me was very horrific when I saw this, and I realized that we need, we need to do something to help families, to help people over, overcome these issues. Excuse me. So why digital assets? Now, digital assets are the least understood um, technology. There's many, many misconceptions about creating wealth through digital assets. And, you know, some people believe that they need a lot of money to get started or they need to spend a lot of time. I need to understand the technology. I need to be tech savvy. I have to know uh, when to buy, when to sell, buy low, sell high. Um, it is too volatile. And this is it's actually one of my favorite ones. Um, it's all a scam. It's fake money, not backed by anything, et cetera. A lot of people still have this misconception because because that's what the mainstream media is telling us. The returns are too good to be true. I can't spend my money on crypto. Well, I've got a, I've got a, um, I've got a news flash here for you guys. I've got two crypto. Um, you can't see those in the screen. Here you go. Can you see those? Two crypto debit cards, which I use to buy everyday things, in, from groceries to petrol, anywhere that I can use Visa, I can use my crypto. Um, and lastly, it's not for me because X, Y, and Z. And many people use this excuse. And the reality is people are too scared to get into crypto because of all the horror stories. What people need is someone they know, like, and trust that they can work with, who's going to work with them to show them exactly what to do. And this is exactly why our business is formed. Now, the reality is it can actually be quite easy. What if there is a few strategies that you can follow that are easy step-by-step -step video instructions that you can set up, implement in less than a couple of weeks, start with a small amount, less than $200 AUD, spend next to no time maintaining um, once set up, less than five minutes a day to maintain your investments, <clears throat> not have to time the market. So you're not looking at charts, you're not looking at trading or anything like that without having to spend hours and hours following influencers or researching projects, okay? And all these benefits can actually be life-changing. They could over time, and over time here is the key, um, the, the, the magic word, okay? Um, I want to emphasize that over time because many people get in, they want fast returns. That's not what we're about. We're about long-term sustainable growth. So over time, you can build your digital assets um, capital base, 
You can leverage to generate hundreds of dollars per day in passive income. Use it as collateral to get a loan for a car, a house, or anything else without using a traditional bank or corporation. Easily pay for family expenses, dinners, out, holidays, or any other wants or desires. Become financially independent and not rely on any external source of income like a job. Um, continue to reinvest to grow your wealth for you, your family, and future generations. This is exactly what I want to speak to you guys about today because right now we are at the next evolution of the internet and finance is here right now. The world is currently seeing the biggest transfer of wealth since the internet. I personally believe it's the biggest transfer of wealth um, in the history of mankind. The next evolution of the internet and finance is being built right now. Web 3.0 and crypto and blockchain is at its heart of, of this new chain, of this evolution. We believe that this is the greatest investment opportunity of our lifetime, bigger than the internet ever was. Question is, imagine being able to invest into protocols of the World Wide Web, which, may, which gave rise to things like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, the fangs, okay? These things, um, not only are you investing in early time, early stage in these in these uh, protocols, we're actually investing in the underlying protocol that created Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and all uh, Google and the rest. So what has been happening since 2020, since 2020 in the pandemic, what we've seen is governments all around the world are printing money out of control. In fact, 40% of money being in, in circulation today was printed in 2020. And we can see that from this um, with this uh, chart that is directly from the feds themselves. And we've seen the effects of it coming in now in 2022 with the effects of inflation coming in. Used cars are up by 41%, gasoline 38%, utilities 23%, and so forth. You can see every all the day-to-day -day things that families and people need is rising much, much higher than the 7.8% that we're being told. But what if there's something that is growing faster, faster than any other asset in the history of mankind? And that's exactly what Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is. Bitcoin, as you can see from this chart, Bitcoin has grown to a $1 trillion asset class in only 12 years compared to some of the other big giants out there like Microsoft, 44 years, Apple, 42, Amazon, 24, and Google, 21. Bitcoin did it in 12 years, and we believe Ethereum is going to do it much faster than that and beat Bitcoin. Now, if we look at the market cap of Bitcoin co compared to some of the other big names out there, like Visa, Tesla, Facebook, and so forth, Bitcoin, you can see where it is on the chart. But Bitcoin is actually money. It's not, um, uh, it's, not a, it's not a company. So you want to compare Bitcoin to things like gold. You want to compare Bitcoin to things like physical money. And if Bitcoin gets to the same market cap as gold, that's a 12x from where it is now. If it becomes a world reserve currency, like many of us believe it will, and it's highly probable that it will become, um, it will replace the, the dollar for um, reserve currency, you'll see that's got a 35x um, uh, potential. But if you are skeptical about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, I don't blame you because it's been bashed over and over again on, on mainstream media. As you can see here, the rise and fall of Bitcoin, that's when Bitcoin is $2.30. The end of Bitcoin, so the end of Bitcoin then, $15.15. .15. Bitcoin is doomed to fail, $327. Bitcoin is a joke, $266. Bitcoin is still doomed, you're still is at $439. Bitcoin is a Ponzi, $570. Uh, Bitcoin is dead, $713. And it goes on and on and on. In fact, there's a website called 99bitcoins.com slash Bitcoin obituaries that shows how many times the mainstream media has actually said that Bitcoin is dead. And they've said it over 426 times. But today, Bitcoin's price is $38,000. So it's not the first time that, social, that uh, mainstream media have got it wrong. Back in the 90s, the internet may just be a passing fad as millions give up on it. In 1995, uh, Wired magazine said the internet is a fad. Most things that succeed do not require retraining 250 million people. I predict the internet will soon go spectacularly supernova and in 1996 catastrophically collapse. 
That's Bob Metcalf. Now, Bob Metcalf is the creator of Ethernet. Ethernet are the network cables that you use to connect your computer to your router, and it's basically the cabling that can that created the internet. Without Ethernet cables, we won't have the internet. The creator of Ethernet cables thought the internet was going to fail. Now, imagine what life would be like today without the internet. In 25, 30, you know, you know almost 30 years, so we're, what, we're about 32 years now, okay, we rely on the internet for everything, including this presentation today. Bitcoin's growth is faster than that of the internet. And, and what you can see here is the internet reached 130 million users in 1997. And by 2005, it had 1 billion users. It took seven and a half years for the internet to reach the 1 billion user mark. Bitcoin is doing it twice as fast and is expected to reach 1 billion users by 2025. And in fact, if you read the book um, Tipping Point by, um, I think it's Mark Gladwell, um, you'll see that he speaks about a tipping point of about 15%, which is any disruptive technology for it to become mainstream has to get that past that 15% adoption rate by its users. And we can see that through airplanes, personal computers, mobile phones, and internet, you know, electricity, all of these things, once they have reached that 15% adoption rate, they were unstoppable. 12 months ago, Bitcoin was under 10% with only mainly the early adopters using it. Today, we are over that 15% and going to the early majority. It is only going to go mainstream from here. If you've been watching the news over the past couple of weeks, the United States president has put out an executive order to make to make the um, United States a, a leader in cryptocurrencies. Yesterday, the European Union um, uh, met and signed the new legislation around cryptocurrencies and whatnot. So it's starting to come very, very fast. Even Commonwealth Bank here in Australia is now offering cryptocurrencies through the ComSec app. And that's where Bitcoin is. Now, not only that, billionaires who are skeptical are now getting in. If they're doing it, so, you know, that should give us enough incentive to at least research and look into this. So former hedge, um, hedge fund billionaire picks up Bitcoin over gold, treasuries, and the dollar. Um, Tim Draper admits to moving stock uh, portfolio to Bitcoin. Um, Stanley uh, Jockenmuller owns Bitcoin. Um, Paul Tudor Jones, who is very, very anti-crypto, very anti-Bitcoin, is now saying, my bet, it will be Bitcoin as the best inflation hedge. Now, I want you also to think about this. Where, what is blockchain and cryptocurrencies going to do? And the reality is this. Any, as any um, industry or any, um, anything that has a middleman in it, blockchain technology is going to disrupt it. Think about entertainment and uh, digital rights, gaming, art, collectibles, NFTs. This is all the entertainment. Like musicians now can create a song, can create an album, sell it on the internet and use NFTs to, to let people buy it, for example. You know, by this, they have ownership. They don't need to use Sony or other record companies to be able to market this stuff. They can do it all themselves. They just got to create a community. Digital currencies, e-commerce, global payment, remittance, lending, borrowing. I can send Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency to someone across the world and they can have it in a matter of seconds or minutes and cost me cents, uh, you know, less than a dollar or a dollar to send it. In fact, they, 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 there was a, an experiment where they sent a million dollars worth of Bitcoin from um, one part of the world to the other, and it cost less than one dollar in transaction fees, and it got there in a matter of minutes. Now, imagine doing that through your bank. If you want to send money overseas, the more you send, the greater the fees are. You can over you can override that and send money across the world, and not having to rely on a third party intermediary. Record keeping. Think about healthcare, title cares, ownership, voting, intellectual property. You know, can, think about countries like Africa, where there's a high number of um, corruption. Things like countries like Nigeria, where those that are rich take advantage of those that are poor. There's identity theft. There's title theft. All these things happen. But with crypto, with blockchain, this no longer becomes a problem. And there are many companies out there that are focusing on these countries. And once these things are implemented in countries like 
like Nigeria, for example, where they now can get rid of corruption, they can overcome that, people's titles and land titles can now be kept and secured because once on the blockchain, it can't be deleted. This is going to give these countries now opportunity to really, really develop and become first world countries. So it's good for the future, it's good for humanity in general. You know, securities, things like private markets, equity, debt, crowdfunding, derivatives, all of these things that usually need a trust, you know, a trust party like a middleman, like a bank or an institution, these can now be overridden and, and uh, not overridden, um, go, and go around them without needing to use these intermediaries who take exorbitant fees. We can now do these transactions peer to peer without having to use these parties and not being able, not having to pay those massive, massive fees that they charge. So, look, that's about it for my presentation today. If you guys want to learn how you can take advantage of the largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind, if you want to find out how you can potentially turn $100 into over $1,000 per day in 24 months in passive income, I'll, I'll invite you to join and come discover what we, our club, which is called the 1K Day Club. It's a club focused on teaching people the fundamentals of cryptocurrencies, how to get passive income, how to create create a well an, an asset class that pays you a dividend every single day with very very little amount to start with to join that you can just go to the um, link there which is um, breakout.co slash 1k a day um, register we have these every fortnight the next one is next wednesday at 10 a.m and thursday at 6 p.m i'd love to see you guys there um, and i'll leave it at that